we're gonna go take a look at some. We've got another prep table to look at, some air conditioning. And then uh, I'm gonna replace the wireless thermostat module at the restaurant that I was working on the other day. Didn't quit working. So I got a freshie for him and we'll run through that. All right, a little Eric Clapton this morning. Okay, so we're gonna be replacing this on uh, the air conditioner up here. The old one was eight years old. It just kept dropping out and then finally at the end it would no longer connect, communicate. So this is your wireless thermostat kit. You get a, a job, a house, a commercial building where you cannot run the thermostat wire down in the building for whatever reason. You can get these units. Our transmitter hooks up to the your thermostat wire your terminal block they had it mounted in here I'm gonna put it back in here it'll still work it worked like that for eight years so thermostat wire goes to the transmitter thermostat goes downstairs you get a return air sensor in case it has a failure at least it'll do some heating and cooling for you and you can run your unit without having to run a wire all the way down to the thermostat Cool stuff. What we're working on today is we got the Bryant 581 BPV 0 or 0 ak 2008. Oh, so, that's where we're at. Got new belt, new filters, wash coils. I'm gonna change this out and we're gonna go through some stuff here. Okay, so I mounted the old one, uh, the new one where the old one was. And it's basic wiring, common, 24 volt, first stage heat, second stage heat, first stage cooling, second stage cooling, your fan, and then they got this return air sensor. I'm gonna probably extend the wires over and put it next to the return air sensor for the economizer right there. And then, Thermostat wire just goes up to the terminal block right here. Everything matches up the same. 24 volts, first stage cooling, second stage cooling, first stage heat, second stage heat fan, and your common. And we'll power it up, we'll get this mounted downstairs, and then this will send the signal down to this thermostat to control it. All right, I didn't get a lot of video downstairs because they're busy. But this, it makes connection in like a couple seconds. Boom, 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 all happy. It's a good product when you can't run a T-stat wire. You get some of those old Victorian two-story houses, things like that, or a business like this. Everything's back together, they're happy. And I'm down the road. <clears throat> okay, got my filters and my belts all done. I'm gonna replace that remote thermostat. I was walking back here and I noticed uh, the exhaust fan here. I'm going to take a look at that belt too. And the flex is apart here, so I'll just go ahead and reconnect this. So it takes about two seconds. I went ahead and pulled the slack back up here so my fitting will get back in and I'll go ahead and tighten that up. Otherwise, it, when it finally breaks or shorts out, I'll be out here in the middle of the night or something. So you come across that stuff, you might as well go fix it and bury the Herman and get her in there. all back together okay they got the strap reconnected so hopefully the next time someone's walking out here they don't pull it out of there so got the belts done on the exhaust fan and the very all greased up too so that'll be fine there's the exhaust fan belt get ready to throw it away right now that's about ready to go that would have been a friday night special so that one's 